In this video, I'll break down how to create motion graphics in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here's an example of something that I'll be going over. I'm basically showing you how to create this really cool motion um, graphic inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Now you may think to yourself, Final Cut and motion graphics don't really go together. And for the most part, you are correct. You can't create, you know, super advanced motion graphics that you could like After Effects or Apple Motion. But in this video, I want to kind of just give you a beginner's guide or an intermediate guide how to create some simple motion graphics inside of Final Cut. Basically motion graphics are just like normal graphics. However, instead of just having you know, like a still image, these different you know layers and assets and elements are basically animating on the screen. That's pretty much the only difference between motion graphics and graphics. So basically what you wanna do is you want to first create the graphic just like you would like for graphic design. And then what you wanna do is now you want to animate all those different layers, elements onto the screen to create this really cool kind of like animated um, graphic. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna create a new project command and and we'll just call this 001 you know it could be whatever you want resolution format you can do as you can see you can do a vertical format square format I'm just gonna leave this how it is right here but of course it's all gonna be dependent on the project you're creating so first of all you're just gonna want to create a normal project now the next thing you want to do is you want to import a background. Now this background can be anything you want. Now the background that I'm going to be using is from a graphic pack that does cost money. So this background is going to cost money, but you can get back custom backgrounds from Canva and Vato Elements. There are tons of places you can get some really cool custom backgrounds, but I'm going to use this one from a graphics pack. Again, it can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to cost money, but what you're basically doing is you need to have some sort of background. It doesn't have to be animating, but I think in most cases an animated background is going to look a a lot nicer so let's just head over here and I'm just going to change actually before I'll basically just now I'm just going to customize the graphic so let's go over here and what you want to do in th things that I have learned with creating graphics kind of for the first time is you kind of want colors complementing each other so basically you, you know you want to make you be aware of you know the person or the subject you're gonna be doing this to basically you want complementing color so that the colors of the Kansas City Chiefs are like red white and yellow so you want colors that complement each other or else it's just gonna not look that great so I'm gonna go ahead and click on control D and I'm just gonna type in eight seconds just so the rendering takes a little um, a little less time so basically what you're doing now is you're just basically customizing your um, background and again it's really important that the colors um, match so it's head over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just basically just go pretty quick and just you know basically animating or just basically you know adjusting the colors of the background so as you can see right here now I basically just customize the colors so again you want colors that complement each other so now you have this really cool um, red and yellow animated background so of course you can do whatever you want but I'm just gonna stick with that just you know that looks good enough for me so what I'm gonna do now is basically now you want to transition the background in so for example I'm gonna go to wipes this is a built-in transition into Final Cut I'm gonna take the wipe and basically just apply it to the beginning that way what's going to happen is the background is going to transition on the screen so let's head over here i'm going to go ahead and click on the direction and i'm going to i i, I, I kind of like it coming in from the left so now what's basically happened is a transition where the background is being transitioned as you can see right here it just wipes in so it just basically you want to make sure all the elements kind of transition in and animate on rather than just having a still background just pop up now i'm going to go to the media right here and basically just select my image or my photo so i'm going to take a photo of patrick mahomes what i'm going to do I'm just going to disable the background just so I don't have to worry too much about rendering so I'm going to take the the photo of Patrick Mahomes and I'm just going to apply it right on to you know the background right here now I'm just going to go and disable the background because it's going to take a little while to render so basically what you do now is you're just going to apply a draw mask and what the draw mask is going to do is it's going to give you the ability to cut out the subject so obviously you know if this is like a serious edit and not just you know like a YouTube tutorial put a lot more time and effort I'll put a little more you know effort into it than I you know do in some videos so basically what you're just doing is using the draw mask as you can see right here you're basically just cutting out the subject now I might make a whole video you know basically giving you a beginner's guide to the draw mask but basically what the draw mask allows you to do is like the pen tool or like rotoscoping it basically allow it gives you the ability to cut out subject so if you're new to Final Cut and you're wondering you know, does Final Cut have the ability to cut out people um, yes it does it's actually really cool and the draw mask is actually really good obviously if you put you know a lot more time and effort 
into cutting out the person. But there you go, that looks pretty good. You'll just, you know, just, just for the tutorial, we'll just leave it how it is and obviously, you know, put a lot more time and effort into the mask if this is a more serious, you know, client edit. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to click on the clip right here, and I'm just going to create a compound clip. So option G, and I'm just going to call this cutout right here. So we'll just call this cutout. Basically, I'm just creating a compound clip. Now I'm going to go ahead, head over here, and I'm going to change this to 300 pixels. Basically, just shift Patrick Mahomes. It's all dependent on what you're trying to do. So I'm going to do next, and I'm basically just going to animate Patrick Mahomes on the screen. So let's go right here, and let's change the pixels since I know the exact duration or the exact pixel is 1500 so basically all that did was we just moved Patrick Mahomes as you can see I just moved Patrick Mahomes off the screen now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the position so Patrick Mahomes slides on the screen now in this example I'm gonna go for one second it's dependent on you I would say the lower the frame rate of your project the faster I would make it go or else sometimes it might not you know it'll, it'll look kind of a little choppy so as you can see right here Patrick Mahomes is just animating on the screen so if I went for Final Cut to Red if I play it right here, Patrick Mahomes, as you can see right here, Patrick Mahomes just slides onto the screen. So what I'm going to do next, I'm basically going to create copies. So I'm going to hold down option, and basically what I'm doing is I'm going to have that Patrick Mahomes sliding animation, but I'm going to be offsetting it by 20 frames. So let's reset the parameters. So basically it kind of creates this really cool kind of like offsetting um, effect of Patrick Mahomes sliding on the screen. So if I'm going to render, and I'm going to shift this over, or take the clip right here, and I'm just going to shift this over for 20 frames. So I'm going to do it like every 20 frames. So if I go right here, play on Pat go Patrick Mahomes, change the pixels to the same thing. You want to have the exact same number of pixels. So we're going to go to 1500. And now I'm just going to place a keyframe on position right here. And I'm just going to change this to um, 300 right there. So we just kind of offsetting animating on the screen. So if I play it right here, as you can see, Patrick Mahomes basically just offsets on the screen right there. And now you can basically go ahead and do that again and create another copy. So if I head over right here, go on Patrick Mahomes, create a new copy right here. And I'm going to offset this by 20 frames so basically they're sliding at the same or they're, they're ending at the same spot but they're starting at different spots so let's head over here to reset parameters and now I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm going to offset it by 20 frames so this one takes 20 frames this one takes 40 frames and then this one takes 60 frames you obviously don't have to do this it's completely dependent on what on you know what you want to do you know what kind of animation or what kind of freeze frame or, or you know anything like that it's completely dependent on you so let's just shift this over um, for 20 frames. Let's go to right here, change it to 1500 um, pixels. Again, it's really important to remember the exact pixels. That's why I would click, um, you know, choose an even number, click on keyframe. And obviously, you know, if something messed up, if it doesn't animate, it means you didn't keyframe it. So just go back and make sure you press on the keyframe button. And we're going to have 300. That's why, as you see, why I told you it's important to have like kind of even numbers because it'll be very easy to remember. So you see, Patrick Mahomes just slides onto the screen right there. It creates this really nice, smooth, offsetting animation now another thing you can do is you can actually change the keyframe path so if I right click over here to show video animation I can head over here to position and then I can right click and change it to linear smooth so just in case you want to adjust the keyframe path that you that's basically you know, how you change the keyframe path so now I'm going to go ahead and add some motion blur just to help smooth out the animation and I'll make sure to put the link down in the description below. So I'll take motion blur. I'm just going to put moderate motion blur. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to blur the motion. So if I play it right here as you can see the, the animation is a little bit blurred. It's just going to help smooth out the animation and just make it look a little more natural. So you see right here it just slides on and then it just looks really nice and smooth. It just really helps smooth out the animation. Now what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and click on right here. Actually, I'll put a marker. It's always important to put marker so you don't forget. I'm going to select a compound clip right here or create a compound clip. And we'll just call this um, cutout. We'll just call it cutout um, animation right here. I think that's spelled right, but what it is what it is. So let's click on OK. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to animate Patrick Mahomes. So click on the keyframe button. I want Patrick Mahomes to be sliding to the left just so there's like a constant animation. So Patrick Mahomes is always animating. That way the graphic doesn't get very boring. So let's go to the end and I'm going to basically, it depending on you, let's go to negative 100 pixels. So Patrick Mahomes is going to be sliding over for like 100 pixels for about like three seconds. So just is another thing you can do just to animate and make it a little more interesting. So you see Patrick Mahomes slides on the screen and as you can see right here now we start sliding to the left 
Now what you want to do next is add some sort of text animation. Now this one that I'm going to be using does cost money, but again, like I said before, you, it doesn't have to cost money. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to add a text animation and just put it right underneath the layer right here. So as you can see, there we go. It's right underneath Patrick Mahomes. Again, you don't have to use one that costs money, but I will be using it in this video. So you see Patrick Mahomes slides on and then you have this really cool text animation behind him. I would always encourage you to go ahead and put the text animation right behind the subject i think that looks a lot nicer so we can just call this I, I i honestly don't remember how to spell his name so patrick right here pat patrick right here so we can put actually I'll, I'll wait for that to render so basically put patrick right here and then you can put mahomes so you can you know adjust stuff like that so we'll just put um mahomes right there so obviously no it's not exactly the same but there we go that's so you just add a text animation to you know animate the text or you know adjust the text and then if i play it right here wait for final cut to render patrick mahomes slides on the screen and this really cool text animation mahomes comes on as you can see right there that's basically you know the basics of how to do it and i'll go ahead and just enable the background right here so now as you can see right there, that's you know a very basic idea obviously put a lot more time and effort into it but that's very like the the basic or fundamentals to creating some really cool motion graphics in final cut now, as you can see right here, this is the final um, edit right here. Obviously, you'll put a lot more time and effort, but there is the final edit. You basically have the background sliding on, and then you have Patrick Mahomes sliding on and a really cool um, text animation. And again, obviously, put a lot more time and effort into it, but that's just the, the basics and the fundamentals to just creating some really cool motion graphics um, in Final Cut. Now, if you're having a hard time coming up with ideas for motion graphics, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and check out Envato Elements. Basically, you would use this website to find some really cool templates, as well as you find use this website to find some just different inspiration, to find some different ideas. So I'd highly go ahead and encourage you to try out um, Envato Elements. So you can see right here, here are basically just, you know, my collection, some of my favorite um, different templates. So you basically use this website just for to find some different templates and, some, and to get some really cool ideas or inspiration for your own, you know, motion graphics inside of Final Cut. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, I have a playlist with over 280 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more videos like this, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.